please. All right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And if you didn't attend the Nairobi International Trade Fair last week, then this is what you missed. Cough syrup made from snails, oil from black soldier fly insects, wine made from tea leaves, and a cow that produces, get this, over 40 liters of milk a day. All these innovations were on display at this year's event, which attracted more than 350 exhibitors. Our very own Dennis Otieno caught up with some of them and gives us a recap of the show on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Saving for your farming goals is now easy with equity. Whether you need to buy a tractor, a piece of land, an irrigation system or any other farming need, simply log on to Equity Mobile app or Equity Online and start saving today. Kusave ni rahisi na equity. Last week, Jamuri Park Showgrounds in Nairobi was a beehive of activity as it played host to the annual Nairobi International Trade Fair. Show visitors came in their numbers to witness products, services, innovations and latest technologies in the market. The Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology Stand was our first stop. Here, Dr. Paul Kinoti, a researcher, is taking snail farming a notch higher. From these slimy creatures, he produces slime, mucus from snails, to make this cough syrup. This is a new area of innovation, which actually received some grants from Italian organization to the tune of 950,000 euros, that translate to quite substantial amount of money. And from this, we have been tasked to come up with a special type of breed, a snail breed, that can be used to generate slime. And this lime is now converted into cough syrup, which will address persistent coughs among children, especially under five years of age. At the newly opened Multipurpose Expo Hall, Nicholas Ndeke is exploring more growth opportunities in rearing black soldier fly insects. He is promoting black soldier fly oil as a key input in making animal feeds. When we dry the insect, we can take it through, through more value addition where we defat the insect through an oil press machine. And that oil press machine will separate the defatted insect and also it will separate the protein from the oil. And now that oil can be used as a feed component for all animals such as pets, chicken, cows, and all animals that you can think of, which is a very good product for their guts and also their healthy systems. Quite a number of showgoers were drawn to the KTDA stand. The main attraction here being wine made from tea. Harrison Mogeni is the brains behind this project to increase cultivation and consumption of tea. Wine which is formed by, which is made by fermentation of the tea extracts. You see, tea itself has a lot of health benefits. It has antioxidants, which boosts uh, your immunity. It has polyphenols. It has anthocyanins. Tea also can help you in digestion. At the same same function, which is in the alcohol in wine. Now these things, we put them together so that they can have a synergistic effect. This smart weather station at the University of Nairobi stand also attracted a lot of attention. Arnold Bett has been working on this project, which he says is key in helping small-scale farmers plan. The reason we came up with this project is because a lot of farming is basically analog. Uh, people do farming without any reference to any data. With this, it's able to now to help farmers be able to decide on how to improve the current farming method. So, But the showstopper was perhaps at the livestock section. This fresh young cow produces over 40 liters of milk daily. Moses Muturi, a breeder, says the secret lies in boosting a cow's immunity. Most of the dairy cows are susceptible to a lot of diseases. Since 2010, we decided to arrest this issue through breeding. And we brought bulls that had immunity plus gene, which has helped us to reduce the levels of mastitis in our farm and occasional diseases that happen throughout the farm. 
As a result, we have very quality animals, as you can see here. Farmers are getting that information from us. It's only fair we share that to them. So much so that Muturi's cows were declared champion in two categories, best adder formation and best in Kalfaifa. Exhibitors are seeking to use these innovations and other ideas to attract more youth into farming. What we are doing, the Minister of Agriculture, we are working with the, with the schools. Like now we have about 1,500 schools all over the country training the young ones about agriculture. Because you see, people used to fear agriculture, saying agriculture is, is for the old, is dirty, is dirty, but now we want to tell them there's value chains. From simple concepts to complex ones, the Nairobi International Trade Fair has thrilled both the young and the young at heart. The hope now for most exhibitors, especially those within the agricultural space, is to receive the right kind of support that will enable them to turn their ideas into innovations. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity.